Hey guys, it's Hostel Peach. Welcome back to Grim Fandango. Blind. I still have some work to do in this little port town. Too much stuff. No, 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 no. Okay, what the hell did I just do? Anybody there? I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. <laughs> Anybody there? I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. <laughs> Anybody uh, there? You're an ass. I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. <laughs> I don't want a kitty hat, dude. What's over here? How are you supposed to find that? Hello. Oh, hi. Betting stuff, please. What? I need the betting stuff for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stuff. Oh, okay. Bye. Thanks, dude. Get it? It's six six, but what's the day of the week? Tuesday. Tuesday because of the kitty hats. I hope. I really hope I'm right. And then, when I find the stupid thing, there. Use it. Make a bedding stub. That day. Hello. Oh, hi. Betting stop, please. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. The wrong photo, isn't it? It's just a bunch of cats. Yeah, but look how fast they're running. Ah. Sorry, sir. I'm sure you'll be a winner next time. Right. I was close. See if this is the right answer. Hey, 
betting stop, please. Here you go. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. Sweet. Now where's the picture? So we are just- oh, holy shit! <laughs> Big winner indeed! I think that guy was up to something! Don't you, Doug? Doug? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts. Okay, are they twins or are they talking? He's just talking to himself. I don't really know. Go, go, go. He's still up there. Open it up on the straightaway, Skinny. Later. First, I gotta blackmail you. Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. <laughs> I'll let you know when I think of it. Better stick around. Hey, what do you want from me, Calavera? Mm, can't think of anything yet. Uh -huh. I guess I got unfinished business. Very well. Tables. What's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Yes. Achievement. You know, you've got a pretty nice setup here. you got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. <laughs> Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. <laughs> Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. Dang. That's a problem. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind Good of for side you. businesses? <laughs> Manny, let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. I'm here for you what happened to me? Say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> I like the new blimp. 
Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. Your new waiter's got quite a bit of time for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town coroner, Manny. Cut it out. Make me. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. That's why I'm getting out of town. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. Kissy, kissy. Man, this is going to get me in trouble. You're already in trouble. I better go. Oh, well. I still have stuff to do elsewhere. It's a beautiful day here at Beeline Meadows. Lots of backtracking. Snoresville. Not believe I'm about to do this. Digging through flower beds is Membrio's job, not mine. You gonna work with me here, game? Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best that I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Hmm. I'm just casually claiming that someone's dead. No big deal. Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this will turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Bingo! Okay, the game glitched a little, but... Ah, 
The last call. It looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sarah can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Okay, the fact that that rhymed does not make it any more cheerful. Kind of makes it worse, really. I can't believe I just claimed someone was dead! Someone who's not dead! I'm a horrible person! Still need the tools, don't I? Sprouted? What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I oh. know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. And the card? Let me see it. Ta-da! One of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. Now don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Still gotta get the tools. How many times have I gone back to this place now? But it turns out I forgot an item. Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Thanks. I wonder what it says. It's like, find it. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. <laughs> yeah. I need this book to give to the bee workers. As soon as I get to them. takes forever to get anywhere in this game. Hey guys. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will Fast stop forward. the fat cats of industry? 
from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class! I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Hey! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan. It's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Yeah. Very good. Just ignore the drunkard. I thought my aunt talked a lot when she was drunk. Yo. I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly in prison merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive. Sweet. I guess our business is settled. Almost. <laughs> was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Mammy. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Okay. That comment made him totally deserve that punch. Dick. Okay. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies. No more. Have fun with your worker strike, friends. The last thing I need to do is help a certain someone with their gambling problem. And I actually went the wrong way to do that. Hang on. Gagnon, le 23, rouge, en plein repas, 23, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more beds, please. Did I do it?
Thirteen is the winning number. Better luck next time. Eh? That does it. That calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. I have no idea what just happened. How long are they going to close it for? Uh, yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out of this big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Penny, <laughs> I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. Come on. Mm. Drag it. Drunk ass. I can do whatever I want to the engine. Make it faster. Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time. I promise. Fair enough. <sighs> Goodbye. On to the next adventure, I suppose. And yet another year has passed, and we're still on the boat. And my god, it's shiny. in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador. I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware. And viva la revolución! Uh-oh. You've been unlocked. Year two. <laughs> Things are getting heavy. And seriously, how did he become captain? I, did, what happened to the old captain? He didn't kill him, did he? Captain seems like a nice guy. On to year three, I suppose. Next time. Until then, I'm Hulse Beach, and I'll see you guys later.